All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't wait. I wanted to do this video. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's coffee time. If you're new to the channel, I'm Brian. And uh, I want to tell you something. I waited three weeks for this to come in. I waited three weeks. I'm going to show you why I waited three weeks in just a second here, in just a minute. But I wanted to share this with you. Uh, this is my unboxing video of my new cold brew maker. It's called, uh, it's from a company called Asobu, okay? They've got some really great products out there. Comes in this really nice, I mean, this is this is pretty nice. I like this, okay? Uh, let me toss that over there. Okay, here we go here, all right? I'm gonna toss that, all right? Okay, what do we have here for cold brew? This is what we've got. Put that right to the side. This is why I waited three weeks for this to come in, because they were out of the silver. They were out of the stainless steel, uh, and it says 18-8. Some of you technical types out there know what that means. I'm not in a metallurgy like that, but what I know it means is it means that it's good stainless steel. And uh, hey, let me tell you something. Stainless steel makes a difference when you're talking about beverages uh, that have a high acidity content, like like coffees and orange juices and, and stuff like that, you know, fruit, citrus juices, you know. But anyway, look, I don't want to get off track. I want to tell you, this cold brew maker, okay, I've seen nothing but great reviews on other YouTube channels uh, from uh, about this, from a Sobu, uh, uh, and uh, this is what happens, okay? After you, after you, obviously you can see the cone right there. After you put your, your uh, grounds in there, your coffee grounds, uh, and you fill it full of water, okay, it sits in your refrigerator for 24 hours and brews, okay? Well, maybe not 24 hours. Let's say it sits overnight, 12 hours, okay? I don't want to get carried away here, but it sits however long it needs to sit to get you a good brew. We're going to do a video on that. Another video coming up. For you, it'll be later. For me, it might be later tonight that I do the video. I'm not sure, but there's going to be another video. We're going to go over how long I brew it, so forth and so on. But what I want to tell you about now is the mechanics of how it works. So you fill this full of water. You've got your coffee grounds in the cone there. After it's brewed, you press this button. The liquid drains down into your stainless steel carafe here. There's a, a cap that goes on this. I'm going to unscrew it. There's a cap that goes on this to close it off. You can put ice in there. You can keep it cold with your ice if you want to, or it's already going to be cold, so I don't know how long. I'm not sure if this is double walled or not, but I, I'm not sure how long it's going to stay cold is, is the point I'm making. So if you want to put ice in it, like I probably will, I'll put ice in it because I like my ice, my uh, cold brew coffee. I like it very cold. I like it over ice and very cold. So I'll probably put ice in here. Okay, you're going to close it off. You're going to take it with you wherever you're going. Set it on the table. Set it on your desk while you're working. If you're working at home, if you're going to the park, like I probably will to, uh, on the weekend, I'll go to the park. I want to have my coffee while I'm sitting out there enjoying the fresh air. Okay, that's what's going to happen with that. Let's check this out. I don't want anything to fall off of here. Bear with me because I'm only doing an unboxing video. So, you know, I wasn't prepared to do a whole lot of uh, manual stuff here. But I do want to show you a couple of things. <clears throat> now, I have a pour over uh, maker, which is also a Sobu. And there's going to be a video. There's going to be plenty of videos coming up. I want you to know that right away. This is the first video for the channel because I just got this. I wanted to share it with you. I wanted my first video on coffee to be about something, but there's going to be a whole series. And so you're, you're going to want to come back because we're going to be roasting coffee. We're going to be tasting coffees. We're going to be doing single origins. We're going to be doing blends. We're going to be doing espressos. We're going to be doing espresso blends. Uh, we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff involving coffee. Okay. And when I say we, that's me and you, you're going to be viewing, you're going to be participating at some point. We're going to be going live. I'm going to be going live and we're going to be interacting that way. So the we is myself and you, the audience. 
Uh, this is a cap. So this is with it with the cap on it. So, you know, this, you know, I'm all I'm going to tell you right now is that the pour over maker that I have, uh, is identical to this almost. Obviously it's a little different size. It's double walled, uh, but it has a cap. It's stainless steel. looks just like this. Okay. It functions so well until when I was looking for a cold brew maker, I went to a couple of uh, YouTube videos, uh, other other uh, YouTube uh, channels, uh, just to see what the reviews were on it. And I only found a few, and they were like two and three minute. I might have found one that was maybe 10, 12 minutes long. Uh, not very much on it, but based off of what I knew from their regular pour over maker, I decided I was going to go ahead and pull a plug on this. And when I say pull a plug, let me tell you, this bad boy costs $50 from the Asobu website. You might be able to get it cheaper on Amazon. It comes in different colors. It comes in silver. It comes in black. It comes in uh, uh, like a copper color. It comes in white. Uh, I believe I saw a white one on the, on the website. And so you've got... That's four colors. So you've got four colors that it comes in. Uh, I like the stainless steel. You know, I'm going for a certain look, everything stainless steel. Okay, that's where I'm at. So I had, this was out of stock. So I had to wait three weeks. Uh, after, and when I say wait three weeks, let me put it this way. This video uh, is being recorded at the end of May. This is May the 28th. Uh, I originally started looking for the cold brew uh, maker uh, back in April, or I'm sorry, back in March, uh, and because I wanted it for April and May when it started to warm up, uh, and so I couldn't find one in March. I couldn't decide, you know, which one I wanted, and so uh, in April. I decided I was going to get this, but they were out of stock on the stainless steel, okay? And all they had uh, was copper, the copper color, okay? And it's a very nice looking, it's very nice looking, don't get me wrong, but I'm going for a particular look. I'm going for a stainless steel look, right? So all in all, uh, I, I scrapped the idea for, for April. I scrapped it. The first week of May, I scrapped it. Then I decided, you know what? I'm going to go to their website and I'm going to see if I can find out how long is it going to be before they're restocked. Well, all that was on the website was was a uh, email link uh, for me to put my email address in, and they would uh, email me uh, and let me know when it was in stock, or I think it was email, or it might have been yeah, give give you the option of email or text. I think. So anyway, uh, I put that in three weeks later, uh, I think it was Monday of this week. Um, I got, or no, Tuesday of this week, I got the notification that it was back in stock. I thought about it for about three or four hours. Uh, and then I decided I would go ahead and pull the plug on it. And, uh, or what do they say? Pull the trigger. Uh, I said, I was go, go ahead and pull the trigger on it. <laughs> and, uh, I uh, ordered it off of their website, 50 bucks, and it came today. I was on my way out for an appointment. I wasn't expecting it until next week. Um, when I pulled the car out and I got ready to drive off, I noticed a box on my porch, and uh, I got out, put the box in the back of the car, went to my appointment, uh, came back home, and took the box and brought it in. And when I opened the box, this is what it was. I didn't even realize that they had delivered it. Something went wrong and went haywire with the uh, delivery service. And I didn't get a notification. If I had not gone out for the appointment today, uh, I would not have went out today because it's been raining and it has been cold here. It's been in the 40s here. It's been raining all day. And it's just a, a miserable day to start your Memorial Day weekend, right? You want it to be warm and sunny. You want I wanted to go outside uh, and barbecue and so forth. But anyway, uh, as luck would have it, I did get it. 
I got it today. It took two days in shipping um, for it to arrive, which was just astonishing. Uh, and I really appreciate Asobu uh, for that. Uh, and uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm going to do a video tonight. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and prepare my cold, cold brew and everything tonight and do the video. And I'll probably post that video on Sunday. I uh, probably will be posting this video tomorrow, which is Saturday. This is Friday evening. Uh, but I think I'll post this video after I do some editing. And uh, so this will be on Saturday when you're able to watch this on the channel. So while you're watching this on the channel, it's going to be Saturday. And then the next day, 24 hours later, is when we'll be able to try the cold brew because it does have to sit and brew. I think the instructions said 12 hours, but I got to go back and read them because it's been... It's been a month since I read the instructions on the web. Oh, here are the instructions, right? Oh, no, that's telling me. Okay, yeah, I got to go back and read the instructions. This tells me that it will stay hot for 12 hours and it will stay cold for 24 hours. So this is a double wall container then. So uh, just like the regular pour over uh, uh, carafe that I have with, with my Sobu, this is double wall. And so... That's my video. I hope I didn't go on too long and bore you. And this is probably the first video on my channel that you're going to be seeing. I'm going to be doing uh, roasting coffee. Uh, I'm going to, First thing I'm going to be doing is going through the selection process of green coffee and who I'm going to buy it from, where I'm going to buy it, what that process is going to be about. I'm going to do a whole video on that. Then I'm going to do a whole video on roasting. Uh, right now, I'm roasting on my stove, gas, natural gas stove, and I'm roasting and I'm, I'm using, I'm not going to show you right now because this is unboxing for cold brew, but I'm going to be roasting by hand. Uh, I'm going to do a whole video, series of videos on that. And uh, I'm also going to do a whole series of video. Obviously, you know, if you're going to roast the coffee, you got to taste it. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do videos on espresso. Uh, I'm going to be doing some videos, uh, demo videos on the uh, Barista Express uh, while I've got it here. Uh, maybe do a couple of demo videos on the, on the uh, Breville uh, Smart Pro uh, grinder. Uh, because this is a really good grinder, uh, there's a lot of things about this grinder. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it on the camera right now, but there's a lot of things about the Breville Smart Pro grinder that you can uh, adjust and you can do with this. Uh, you don't have to run out and get a uh, niche uh, zero grinder um, right away. Uh, if you've already got the Breville uh, Smart Pro, you can do some things with that. You don't have to get a niche grinder right away. Uh, just like the Barista Express, you don't have to get uh, an upgrade to a double boiler uh, right away. But that's all of that is going to come way later. We're going to do a lot of videos. The first series of videos we're going to be doing is going to involve cold brew. It's going to involve coffee selection, uh, green bean selection and sourcing and roasting. And so I want you to come back to the channel. I want you to have a real good time. We're, I'm going to be going live. I'm going to be part, have you participating in the lives, hopefully, you know, if enough people are viewing. Uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, we're just going to have a good time on this series about coffee. 